Hello WIUM Public Campus Ministers. Salamat malam. Salamat hari sabat. I hope I pronounced that right. Thank you for having me tonight, even only through a video. I am truly grateful to the Lord for this opportunity. Thank you, for Brother Oswald Tarore. May the Lord God bless you for this initiative and for this spiritual gathering. I am already 32 years old and still will be soon graduating. You must be wondering why at 32. Well, it is a very long story. But what I can tell you tonight is that I am grateful to God for sending me back to school and for leading me into this ministry, the public campus ministry in SPUC, we call our PCM Mas Amicos. I went back to school in 2016. I was 27 years old and I right away became uh, part of the public campus ministry. And in this same school, I enrolled here way back also in 2006. That was a very long time ago. And there was no PCM yet during that time. And let me tell you the difference between my 2006 and 2016 residency. Okay, well, in 2006, there was again no PCM yet here in our school. So while studying, this was my experience. In times of trials and troubles, I had to pray alone. I had to stand on my own when faced with trials about Sabbath, food, habits, and even bad influences. Sometimes fighting was really difficult. I even got into drinking due to being entangled with the bad, bad companies. I wasn't able to stand, you know. And during those times, I had nobody to hold on to. I had nobody to confide my spiritual battles. I had nobody to rebuke me and reprove me of my wrongs. And I had nobody to pray for me. I had no one to share my testimonies. During the time, I got no testimonies to inspire, to encourage me. And I would honestly say that ministering to others, I wasn't able to uh, do that. We don't have any any activities, any yeah, any programs to share the gospel of Jesus in our campus. And that was really sad. In contrast, when I went back to school in 2016, thankfully, thank God, PCM was already existing. Mas Amicos was already there. And this is what I experienced. With the Mas Amicos, I found a family, a spiritual family. I gained spiritual siblings and I do not have to pray alone anymore. I have people who fight and would stand with me in trials and in temptations. And also I have people I can share my spiritual battles and without judgment they pray for me I hear a lot of testimonies and I also get to share my testimonies which would help inspire and strengthen all of us when I commit uh, wrongs I have a lot of reprover because out of love the mas amigos our PCM would rebuke each other you now we help each other also our sharing of the gospel, our ministry, became even easier because as a group, um, we have many voices. And as a group, we have many lives in different courses. We stand as light. We shed a lot the light of Jesus onto our classmates, to our teachers, you know, and together, many lights, you know, we minister together for the glory of God. Being a Masamikas or public campus minister for me, I'd say, is a privilege. And indeed, it really brought great joy in my life. With this contrast, I am simply, you know, telling you the beauty of being an ambassador of Jesus in our campuses. So let's take it. Take advantage of it. Do not be shy. Join the PCM in your campus. If you're not yet organized, then organize, you know. Call all the Adventists in your campus and together organize the PCM in your campuses. Everything that I told you are, for me, I'd consider benefits that we can get from joining the ministry. I would like to remind all of us that this joy, this benefit that we can get from being a PCM member cannot be availed without upholding one principle. 
This is what I always tell our mas amigos here in our territory. And this principle, of course, is rooted from the Word of God. And it can be found in Matthew 6.33. I know you can you memorize this. Ambassadors, remember, God owns us. God owns you. And even in your studies, even in your schooling, He has a purpose for you there. You are bound to fulfill it. What's your purpose? To be the light. To share the gospel. And by doing so, you will be giving glory and honor to God. So as you continue to study in your campuses, remember, God put you there. A principle you are to uphold is ministry is the priority. Academics is only secondary. Again, ministry is the priority. Academics is only secondary. You will only find joy, great joy in your studies if you make the ministry your priority. What would be the use of, you know, being a dense lister if you fail to do the purpose of God in your life in that campus? If you fail to share Jesus to your classmates and to your teachers? So WIUM Public Campus Ministers, again, do not forget Matthew 6.33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things that you desire, He will give it all to you. So more power to all of you and to the leadership of our WIUM PCM, Brother Joshua, Brother Sadia, and of course, Brother Oswald. May God bless and more power to our youth director, Pastor Owenas. As your servant in the SSD together with Pastor Ron Hinebago, I'd like to tell you that I will always be here for you and will be praying for you. And together, let us minister for the Lord through and in our campuses. More power and God bless all of you.